Hey everyone, um, this is the lesson on uh, how to do vibrato. Uh, vibrato is a really important um, tool to help shape the sound and just to make things sound better and more vocal-like. Uh, first thing you want to do is just get used to the concept of moving your arm up and down like this. Um, I always use the analogy uh, trying to get ketchup out of a bottle. If you've ever done that before, that's basically the same motion you'll use for, to do vibrato. So again, it's kind of from the elbow hinging and your arm moving down like that. So uh, how you want to set this up on the cello is just find uh, maybe fourth finger or third finger um, or even second finger and see if you can get this going um, with your finger in place. Uh, and just move the arm and let your thumb be free. So thumb is always free when you're doing vibrato. Uh, just to not to limit your range of motion. Um, so uh, another way you can practice this is just sliding up and down the fingerboard on, on one string um, with all your fingers down but your thumb loose uh, to kind of get the motion and then just get smaller and smaller until you're on one finger um, with your arm moving back and forth. So uh, then you want to try to do this with the bow. Uh, to see what you can get. So um, I recommend um, just sliding on like a G until you stop on one note. And, uh, and you can try the other fingers too, third finger. Or for the second finger. And first finger. Again, keeping your thumb free uh, in this is, is really key. And then that basic motion of moving the arm back and forth, uh, like you're doing the tomahawk chop if you're an Atlanta Braves fan. Um, that's that's bas the basic motion. So uh, at first, if you're having trouble sliding, then try with not any finger pressure, just playing harmonics. So it's really light finger pressure. So you get in one spot. Try it on other fingers. Um, and that's one thing if you're having trouble sliding. Now, uh, one thing you want to look out for is not let your finger bend when you're going, but keep it basically the same. So the slide, your finger will stay in place as you're sliding and then just get smaller and smaller there. So those are some tools to kind of work on developing a vibrato. Um, once you have it down, you can practice uh, different things to help you get better control of this technique. Um, one of that is set a metronome to maybe uh, you know 60 beats per minute and try to just do quarters. And then try eighth notes, one and two and three and four and then triplets, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, like that, and then finally sixteenths, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and That way you'll uh, kind of practice developing vibrato at different speeds and having control of it. Um, now the last thing that you can uh, experiment with when doing vibrato is um, how much of your thumb comes around the side of the cello. Uh, this might help you get a little bit better range of motion um, and again, the thumb is going to be free when you're doing vibrato. Uh, I think the better you get at, at playing with a relaxed thumb, then things like shifting will also be much easier, uh, but really frees up the vibrato. When you, when you have your thumb clamped, then it limits your range of motion. So you just want to be aware of that. And practice those oscillations with the metronome. Um, you'll notice that how vibrato works is we're always going back into the note. So we're playing... So if your vibrato goes ahead or above the note, then you get kind of a wobbly vibrato. Um, and lastly, make sure that you're not doing it from the wrist. Um, I know violinists have a lot of different types of vibrato. They do arm vibrato and wrist vibrato, uh, finger vibrato. But on the cello, we basically have one type of vibrato. You, you, you know, as you get more and more advanced, you can play with doing a little bit of wrist, but you never want to go beyond the pitch. So always backward and to the pitch. 
as you're bending um, and, and letting the fingers flex as you're doing the motion with your arm. Um, so anyway, I hope this uh, lesson helps with developing vibrato. I'm sure if you've gone through a lot of the beginner lessons that uh, you're, you're ready to use at this point. And um, uh, if you have any questions at all on how to do it, um, feel free to email me. I'll be happy to answer those and I uh, would love to hear from you.